Hello guys, welcome back to uh, Rule the World. It's been a long, long, long time since we came back and I've got a bit of old saved game kind of nausea. And what's that? Well, I'll explain what it is in a minute because it's been a long time since we kind of came back here and checked out the world. A whole bunch is kind of like, well, not much has really changed, but there's so much to remember that, you know, I'm going to have to take a walk around, get my bearings and just remind myself how much progress we've made and where we stand with our quests and our goals. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, pretty good. So I remember my I remember my weapons, my my amazing crossbow. Oh yeah, best on the server. Uh, my Entbane axe. Obviously, I got my, my equipment and stuff. All oh, right, my eye of the flugel that lets me teleport to different locations, like Cancer or Gemini <laughs> or Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn. And I think this is a right click to teleport. Right, so these are all bound. I have to re remember my bindings. Oh, and already I can see a big problem. What's that noise? Well, we've got we've got a big problem here because oops, hang on a sec. There we go. We've got a big problem here because we haven't cleaned up since Christmas. So all this cheese, all these cakes, and all these chassis bow and sweet rolls and things uh, are are kind of getting uh, getting moldy. And that fruit's on its side. What the hell happened there? I don't even know. There we go. Oh my god. Not quite fixed. There we go. Fixed. So yeah, we have to clean up here. Get rid of some of this food before it goes bad. Oh man, someone left a drink on the floor. Someone could have kicked that over. So irresponsible. Don't leave drinks on the floor. Holy crap. Well, that's one thing to do. Let's take another look around the eye of the flugel and see where else on our, on our, on our casino roulette wheel it will take us. So this was... What was this? This must be... This is Capricorn. So let's go clockwise from Capricorn. That's my star sign, actually, Capricorn. There you go. It's a goat with a with like a mermaid. It's like my little mermaid meets goats. Scorpio. Oh, oh right, yeah, Scorpio. This is this is Renzovia's place. So we've got her hand and her head. And uh, oh, let's not disturb her. I think she's asleep. Let's get the hell out of dodge. Libra. Now remember this. This is the storehouse. This is my fast track way to get to the storehouse and see what I've got inside here and yep everything's I don't know but it always feels like we got less and less in here every time I look this used to be full of stuff there are actually 88,000 items in here uh, of apparently a 56,000 item limit so that could be bad and uh, I'll obviously check out the uh, the food oh man more food than I've ever had in any series I think 18,000 raw salmon 18,000 cooked fish because we have Panda over here and Hannah making bread and fish with this hand crank torque generator and oh yeah and the cooked fish in the redstone furnace Wow <laughs> Is that the first time I've ever eaten delicious fish? It's crazy So okay, oh my god that's fine Fireworks aside, where's next on the list? So that's Libra So where's Cancer gonna take us? Ah, oh, Cancer takes us to to the Tower of Steve, but oh my God, what's what has he done in here? Right, well I guess I've been locked out over Christmas, and oh my God, it's like late January now, so we've been away for ages. But it looks like um, poor old Steve, he's I can't fly. My my rings must be low. Oh yeah, my rings completely empty. I need to recharge that. In fact, it might be worth setting one of the bind points on my thing to a place where I can recharge. But What's he got here? Right, so he's got some weird setup here. It's charging up and shooting, or is it? What's, what, what, what is this layout for? It's definitely a Botania mana setup, right? So he's making mana here, but what's he doing with it? The, the, the mana shooters are pointing roughly at the keep. But there's nothing in here that, oh, I don't know. And it looks like he's put Nitor around to light a bridge. What are these crystals though? This looks like some crazy Thorncraft stuff. Now Steve isn't around at the moment, in fact no one is, so I'll have to grill him on this when he gets back, but what was that? There's some mixed crystal clusters in here, and some fire crystals. What, what are crystals used for? And you guys, I remember the I remember the old research game that we were playing before, and look, this is all the, all the research that we've gathered, all the um, essence. Think. Oh, that reminds me actually. We have. Oh, what's this in here? Oh, that's right. Nothing yet. We're going to use this for something later. Now, we've got something upstairs as well. We've got the um, the distillation chamber. 
Oh yeah, nothing changed here. Oh, looks like he's added some carpet. Wow, fancy pants, fancy pants Steve. Oh my god. Well, these are normal jars, warded, warded jars. Is that what we made before? I think so. So what is a quantum jar? What the hell has he made here? Quantum jar. What's the recipe? It doesn't say. Oh, well, the Thormonomicon can tell us what the quantum jar is. Technomancy? Hang on a sec. Yeah, here it is. He's made a quantum jars. A, a jar. Well, I'll purchase that because I want to see what it is. This new jar uses quantum mechanics to increase its maximum storage. Oh, right. So it's just like a really big jar. And it's used neutronized metal and quantized, quantized glass? Wow, I don't think, which is thormium. Oh, right, yeah, okay, so we have pretty much all this. Thormium in, in the crucible we have for the neutralized metal. But also quantized glass? I don't know how to make that. It's a bit crazy. All right, here we go. Quantized glass is literally just glass in an arcane workbench with some ignis order. Okay, those are quite easy to make, actually. Fair enough. So yeah, and it looks like he's decorated the place with some night or all right, fair enough. Now we've still got this huge, huge setup of stuff over here that we never dug into. That's right. So I was saying what saved game nausea is, and it's like, you know when you play like Fallout 4 or like Final Fantasy or like a huge game, right? And you're playing it, you love it, you're just going through the game, you're like, oh, this is great. And then suddenly something happens and you stop playing. I don't know why, you save the game and you don't come back for like maybe a month or two, or even longer, and then when you finally do play it again, you start the game, and you look around, and you're like, I can't remember where I was, or where I am, and oh! Oh no, it's okay, we, we're like pretty much indestructible in this armor. Wow, yeah, I took no falling damage, that's crazy. Why is that? Ah, feather falling, sweet. Didn't know that, good to know. So what have we got in, our, in, the, in the control house over here? Oh yeah, it's all just Thormcraft stuff, like knowledge, Gold ingots, because they come in handy. Ender pearls, some shards. Ooh, some al alumentum. Uh, a mana bean, which doesn't have a texture, apparently. And, oh, Spooky Steve's heraldry, of course. All right, cool. Well, that's Steve's, that's Steve's tower taken care of. So I guess when we come back next episode, we might do some stuff with Steve. But I've got another idea about what I want to do before next episode as well. So that was Cancer. Let's check out... That's it. No, that's it. So did I not set Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, right, so Scorpio was Renzovia's shrine. That means we've got a whole bunch of uh, waypoints to set. Oh no, wait, hang on a sec. We haven't looked at Gemini. Let's take a look at that. Alright, oh, yeah, Gemini, the old uh, the old twin, twin headed uh, beast. And that's over here at, I think it's Eldrafin's tower? Oh man, it's been so long, I couldn't even remember her name. She'd be upset if she was around. But she's not, so who cares? Right, so let's get back to Libra, which is right in the middle of town. Whoops. And take stock. So, let me get rid of this fruit bowl. Well, oh yeah, the golem bell. Oh, I remember this thing, yeah. All right, so there's a couple of things I wanted to do. First up is get rid of this tree. Because it ain't Christmas no more, is it, Benji? No. So we're going to get rid of this with the old Ent Bane. Now, fingers crossed this is going to take the whole thing down. Yeah, it did! But the leaves, the leaves, they are not decaying. So we're going to have to, uh, I know what I can do, actually, to get rid of, um, to get rid of this. I've got a tool for this. First up, oh god, we're going to put some stuff in the, in the warehouse to, to free up some space. If we can, actually. I think we might not be able to. Might have, like, a bit of a, a backlog here. Yeah, we've got lots of limestone. What's what is the hold up here? Why are there so many? Oh, this is weird. So it says there's eighty-eight thousand things in here, but there's definitely not eighty-eight thousand things over here. That means there's some stuff in these chests that is not being calculated. Yeah, like chicken, raw chicken. Do you see any raw chicken in here? Ah. Uh, okay, no, yeah, there's thousands of raw chicken. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, so we're going to put inside here the presents, like that, and the fruit bowl, some of the decorations. Just get rid of most of this stuff, actually. And I don't need all this. No, I'm probably doing the ammo, so I'll keep that. 
but I can get rid of the chisel for one. Leaves. Sh oh shit, shears will come in handy for chopping down a tree. Uh, get rid of the cooked chocobo legs. Keep the wand. There we are, I reckon that's enough space kept. So I've got an idea about how we can get rid of this tree pretty quickly. Now we can use leaves, or rather we can use shears to get the leaves, that's easy enough. But I don't want to do that, because A, I can't fly, I need to charge my ring, which I'll do now actually, that's a good point, now that I've rem reminded myself. Sparing mana to items, thank you very much, and there we go, put it in that ring please. Now my gun should be somewhere around here. But is it? I can't remember, where did I put my blaster? It's not up there. Well, you only need a little bit of mana to fly, so I've got my ring back now. I can just zip around. Oh yeah, creative mode flying, nothing better. So where have I put my golden bag of holding? Oh man, like I said, saved game syndrome. I've come back and I can't find anything that I put down. Maybe I put my golden bag of holding in my spectre key dimension. Now if you don't know what a spectre key is, it's a secret key that takes you to your own little pocket dimension where you can store stuff. So let's go check it out, see what's over there. I should really build one of these in Druids. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this looks amazing. I love this place. Now this is my own little private dimension. Right, so what's inside the... Right, oh right, so this is, this is Steve's phylactery actually, I think. All right, fair enough. So let's just use my Spectre key then to get back. I think this takes me back. Yeah, there we go. Whew! Alright, well, I still can't find my bag of holding. God, it's quite a mystery. We've also lost a couple of other things. This is the problem, actually. When your world and your build get so big, you kind of lose track of some of the finer things. And in this case, some of the finer things include, but are not exclusive to, Martin, <laughs> who's just gone missing. I have no idea where he is, but it doesn't matter, really, at the end of the day. And also, my golden bag of holding. There it is! Alright, let's take a look inside. Now we're even. Oh, you know what? It's not even in here. My mana gun is not even in here. Oh, I've got that dragon egg though. That um, Duncan never actually wanted. King's box. Oh right, yeah, the luggage. All right. Well, there's no there's no gun in here. Because what I was hoping to do, maybe I put it inside the uh, in the warehouse actually. What I was hoping to do was to use my special blaster. All right. Well, that's a quick recap. I've got my golden bag of holding. Everything is pretty much as it should be. Uh, and that's a quick recap of where we're going. My, my ring's pretty much charged for this episode. But there's one thing I wanted to do, because like I said, we've got saved game syndrome. And we need to take care of a few things. So I'm going to get my shears out first. Chop down this tree. All right, so that's the leaves taken care of. But oh my god, we didn't get any of the decorations. So there's a whole bunch of floating bells and lights just in the sky. Oh, that looks messy as hell. All right, let's get rid of them. This is gonna take forever, you know. If only I had like a ray gun. I'll take another look over here, you know, because I might have plunked it down somewhere. Oh, here we go, here it is, the Desu gun. Ah, oh, I found it at last. All right, now we can use this. Whoa! Misfire, misfire. Oh man, this thing's deadly. Nice to see it works, so I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> oh man, all right. So, let's take the Desu gun for a spin. Actually, I better put some of this dirt back. This is gonna, this is gonna get pretty messy. I'm gonna have to make some more actually now. I think some of it's been, yep, destroyed by the Desu gun. Damn it! Oh well, at least we know of its destructive powers now. Let's check it out. Bam! This is how you clear out a tree. Ah, oh, whenever, whenever like your parents or like you know you decide to put up a Christmas tree next time, and you come back and you're like, oh, you know what? I need to get rid of this tree. Forget actually picking up the tree. Forget taking it to the dump. Forget any of that. Just get TNT out and blow that tree to hell. Whoops. I think I just shot, shot down a plane. That's the one deadly thing, actually. I'm shooting very small targets here. So if I miss, I'm going to take out whatever's behind it. Alright, so what did I say we were going to do? We've had a look around. We've taken stock. of our, gotten our bearings and worked out where we are. Wait, did I just see someone around here? Is it Martin, maybe? Oh, the search for Martin continues. Oops, put down a chest. Now, I, bet, I better put this Desu gun away before I hurt someone with it, because I will. 
There we go. Golden bag of holding. Perfect place for it. All right. So we'll put, put the presents, some of these Christmas leaves and decorations in here. Let's get them out of the way. Keep them there until next year. There we go. And the shears can go too. Now, what I'm going to need next is a little bit of wood. And we're going to make a brand new to-do list full of all the things... Oh, God. What's going on in there? Full of all the things that we want to do that we've forgotten about. Because there's a whole bunch of things I had planned going around my head. While I was away at Christmas, I kept, like, thinking, you know, Oh, what about this? What about that? Wouldn't this be cool with that? Or wouldn't that be cool with this? And so now it's time to put all of those plans into action. In the form... Of a to-do list. Oh, yeah. That old chestnut. Now, where are we going to put a to-do list? I don't know. Um, this has got our banner on. Last time we used the wall over here, but I don't like using the wall. It just doesn't, doesn't seem like a nice place to do a to-do list. What about right here? This looks like a perfect place, actually. So I am going to build us a to-do list board. Now, just a simple one for the time being. Nothing crazy. But a big one all the same. Right, okay. So on the left, we're going to have buildings. And on the right, we're going to have... I want to say politics, because it's like um, just, you know, the, the state of things. Like all the lords that we're trying to kill. And, uh, and the tasks that we're going to have to do. I'll tell you what, I could just put Renzovia. Because that kind of wraps up more of more of what we're doing to kind of put her together. Right. So the first building we want to do, and this is a, this is this is a lumber mill. Because if you take a look behind me, that looks terrible over here. It's just like loads of trees. They're not even plugged in anymore. This isn't even growing. It's like a big waste of our time. So what I want to do is chop down all these trees and make a really cool looking lumber mill with a, a simple wood farming um, wood farming quarry inside there as well now you may be thinking to yourself hang on a sec a tree farm well you've got a tree farm already and it's over here and you know what you're exactly right we've got a tree farm over here that gathers all of the wood that we'll ever need i think at least should, as long as it still works and it should do we've got oh, a few apples in there And lots and lots of oak wood. So if we ever need oak wood, we can come back here and get busy. But this is quite a complicated setup. And another thing, it looks all planty, which is fine. I mean, I don't really mind Britannia. But I, it, the whole setup looks pretty ugly. And it doesn't fit inside a building. It doesn't look very medieval. So what I want to do is I want to create a sawmill, like an actual building. It'll grow trees in the middle of it. Um... But then it'll cut those trees and it'll take them down and saw them into planks maybe and kind of give us give us uh, some wood that we can use. Also, I want to move like our furniture, um, our furniture table from DecoCraft over there so that we can build, um, build furniture there. Because that makes sense in a sawmill like a lumber mill. But also as well, to add to that, I want to put inside there uh, a molasses doors. Um crafting station as well because that's going to be a cool place for us to make doors because obviously carpenters make doors so that makes obvious sense so what else have we got to do i can't think of anything right now for the buildings the lumber mill makes sense um obviously renzovia now we have the hand and the head and we've gotten those from lord blackwood and elwyn sorrow song in alfine that's right so what we want to do now is find the next part in Thorncraft, which is a good point, actually. We'll have to quiz Steve on, because I don't, you know, it's been so long, I, I've forgotten as well. Renzovia sent us to Steve. She introduced us to Steve, the Lich. Uh, God knows why she knew a guy like that. But we are going to use him to get to the next part, which is, I think, in Thorncraft. So what we'll have to do is when Steve comes back, from his from his New Year's celebrations, and I'm, I'm sure he's getting drunk. Even though he pours alcohol in his throat and it goes through his skeleton body, I'm sure he imbues the alcohol into his bones and, and gets drunk in some way. Uh, right, and that makes sense. Next part in Thorncraft, and well, hmm, these are two places for us to start. So next episode is probably going to be the lumber mill, and then after that, if Steve's back yet, we can quiz him and maybe uh, continue our, our Thormic 
Thormic uh, discoveries as well, because not only are we using Steve to get the extra part of Renzovia, he's also teaching, teaching us about Thormcraft. So, potential Thormcraft building. Now, Steve's tower is pretty big, but we might need extra space, extra room to do other stuff. Uh, so, what else do we need? What else is there in this mod pack? Now, we haven't dabbled at all with any technical mods, because I don't want to, really. I think magic and, uh, and mystery and medievalness is what Rule the World is all about. It's all about marching armies and, uh, and conquering with, with mechanical... Not mechanical might, but with, um, with the sweat of your brow, with magical spells, and, uh, and with, with working gears and cogs and stuff. And, and what's going on here? Well, it looks like, the, uh, looks like the cogs and gears from Ancient Warfare... Need some care and attention. Because a curious fact, the whole reason I ever started playing Rule the World and, and dabbled in, in this whole kind of way of doing things is because I checked out the Ancient Warfare mod and I saw these amazing looking torque systems and windmills and I thought, you know what? I need to build a little working village and town with NPCs that uses all these things. And I feel like we've pretty much achieved that goal and we achieved it pretty early. But then we got kind of dragged into this bigger story with this, with this god that's been trapped by these evil lords. So I, you know, I guess that kind of comes, comes along with the to-do list as well. So we've got to make a lumber mill and talk to Steve. And th that's pretty much enough on our to-do list to get going with. We've also got to decorate the castle, actually. That's a good point. Uh, we'll add a couple of signs for that. Decorate castle. And by decorate, I don't even mean decorate. I mean add rooms, because I haven't even got a place to sleep in there, really. And also, build a dungeon, because every castle needs a good dungeon to hold our prisoners, all the peasants that kind of get unruly, and uh, and all the all the evil evil knights and lords that we want to kind of capture and ransom back to their kings. So that's been it, guys, for Rule the World. We haven't done much this episode, but what we have done is taken a look around, refreshed our memory, and gotten ourselves more familiar with how things work down here on Stinterfell. So next episode, we're going to build a lumber mill, over by where the tree farm is. We're going to use our, uh, our probably our Desu gun to cause some chaos and chop the whole place down. And then we're going to turn it into a lumber mill where we can make furniture and doors. We're also going to talk to Steve about Renzovia and find out how he can help us get the next part. So, till next time, guys, like and subscribe, and I'll see you for some more Rule the World. It's been away for a long time, but don't worry, it's going to be back now a lot more regularly. So, take care. <laughs>